before we get started, I'm sick right now uh, under the weather. So if I sound nasally, it's why. So bear with me. If not, just, you know, turn the volume down and look at the pretty pictures displays. So you don't have to hear my voice talk. Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, 2023, summer's over. Welcome back to this video. I don't know, how, this is the intro. Just wanna say display collection tour a year later. The last one I posted was last summer. Now this one, new figures, new displays, new shelving stuff. The display video is finally here. I got everything done, everything set. I'm excited to show y'all everything on what I've cooked here. I just wanted to make a note. Thank you for all the success success I've had this summer. Um, the YouTube channel has doing good, has been doing good. Thank y'all for watching the reviews that I posted this summer, this year. TikTok hit 200,000 followers. That's awesome. And yeah, I just, this is, was unplanned. But also one thing I wanna note, this is my collection after 10 years of collecting. I always make note that, I mean, I've bought toys my whole life, but I, the first like time I started like actually collecting figures was like 2013, 2014, when Transformers Age of Extinction, when those figures and the Marvel Legends, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 wave, when those figures came out, I was buying those and displaying them and I was, so maybe it's 2014's the next year, but, 2013 2014 almost 10 years of being in this hobby super excited super grateful so glad to have been able to grow my collection and show y'all and have you all along the way with all that being said skip the intro stuff here is my full collection tour uh so we'll just start with my shelves and we'll just get through everything everything yeah so hopefully this section looks familiar if you know or paid attention to me last year i built these shelves last year with my dad it was great obviously you can see i lost the whole top shelf i just reducing the collection selling stuff that i don't want anymore etc etc just had to let some stuff go and i was able to clear that up for more figures in the future or maybe i'll shift these up here but anyways we're gonna just walk over here i mean room tour collection tour poster attack on titan best anime of all time poster about collecting figures awesome here's my desk where i shoot my reviews make tiktoks etc but for this first shelf up here we have the marvel legends spider verse shelf and i can see that this is not oh no okay this whole section right here just fell i put it back up there's gonna be some leaning because i i can't i can't i can't deal i can't deal with it um anyways spider verse stuff like oh god that peter b fell three times knocking it i can't um game reverse stuff i don't have the new game reverse spider-man ps5 spider-man 2 because that figure's atrocious marvel legends venom the best marvel legends comic book venom out there retro spidey the og uh the one that started on yes this is just my marvel legends some marvel selector in here of comic spider-man stuff uh, let me get this to focus and right here oh it's tough it's hard it's hard iphone you know we're here and this just goes the the whole way you know i just gotta gotta scoot over a bit and we're back i got symbiotes up here i love that knoll i love that venom i love the shelf presence of just that venom with the wings right here pretty great then i went ahead and turned the flash on we'll just see if that gets some better lighting i have the marvel select carnage right there i love that one too Marvel Legends, Iron Spider, Spider Man, Spider Ham, Kane, Retro Lizard, Great Release, Bagman, Custom Rhino, and this this is it. And I, Amazing Fantasy, probably the best Marvel Legends Spider Man ever. Love that one. And th this is just the shelf, guys. Here, some of the poses are janky and wonky. I don't know how Superior Spider Man is standing up on that right now. Great for him. But, damn, Green Goblin. Yeah, I, I'm content, I feel, with my comic Spider-Man collection. I don't really feel the need to buy anymore. I know the new Retro Wave is hitting targets right now, and I think all those figures kind of suck for being $27, not having accessories either. Come on, Hasbro. Custom Doc Ock tentacles. I made these last year. Same old, same old ones. 
Oh, I made them with, oh shoot, I don't remember, something, cable ties. Spider-Punk. We need a new 2099, though. I'd love a new 2099. But just getting through here, I mean, this this is this is the Spider-Man shelf. It's kind of small-ish. I could have probably extended, when I set this up, I made them super compact because I thought I was going to have a lot of space. Obviously, I do. Uh, so I could spread these out in the future. But animated series, Spider-Man, another one of the best animated series, Venom. I'm still slacking on that whole two-pack situation with the animated series line. I'd still like to get all of those, Doc Ock, Aunt May, Green Goblin, Smythe, Peter, you know, all the ones coming out. But like I said, I haven't really felt compelled to buy a lot of Spider-Man stuff that's not import-related. For Legends, I'm, I'm content. So hopefully this wasn't too quick. Y'all could see everything here but right and while i'm up here i can just go ahead and swing over here no lights this is my comic book shelf a lot of people well i don't know if they'll ask or if you're wondering a lot of vanilla poses on a lot of these shelves um i have a lot of figures obviously can't pose every single one takes up too much real estate on the shelf so here this is just what i've reduced oh red skull i'm not even going to touch that if he's leaning he's leaning it's done it's cooked but my comic book display, uh, personally, I love MCU figures more than comic figures. So if I didn't have these Haslabs right here, I would have sold this collection a long time ago, personally speaking. But I'm not selling those because those are awesome. And I need these to go along with it. But Marvel Select Hulk's up back there. Marvel Legends group. When are we going to get an updated Guardians? I'd like to buy an updated Guardians. This is turning. Uh, I'm not even messing with that. New Black Widow. Amazing. Look at that head sculpt. That's awesome. Definitely pick her up if you haven't already. I also have the new Ant-Man here. Same thing. Uh, head sculpt looks amazing. Lacking on accessories though. Sorry I'm messing with the camera lens right there. Love this Marvel Legends cap. 20th anniversary Toy Biz cap. That's awesome. But there's just not a whole lot to sh show here. I mean I like the way all this looks. You got the X-Men over here. That Diamond Select Apocalypse back there. That's an amazing figure. like that one, too. I still have the Legends one in there. Oh, right there. Booyah, I see your head poking through. Dormammu's in the back. But, yep, that's that's it for the comic stuff. I mean, I'll get to, of course, y'all have seen the Haslabs everywhere. Galactus here. And these are just, I use random boxes, like G.I. Joe Transformer boxes. Like, that's what I use for my stands on my display. So, these are all extras I have left over that'll just sit there. Um, Haslab Galactus, the three heralds, y'all know how it goes. And then Haslab Sentinel with some Sentinel related figures right there. I mean, nothing new. Bucky Cap Cyclops, I would still like to get the VHS one uh, to go over here eventually. But for the top stuff, while I'm on the stool, uh, I'm here, you know, the comic stuff. But I care about movie stuff more. So we'll get down here to the MCU shelf. And I say this is MCU, it's just movie, like here's like the Fox stuff. X-Men, you know how it goes. Love this Deadpool, one of my favorite Marvel Legends. It, it definitely in my top like five Marvel Legends of all time is this movie Deadpool. Chadwick Boseman, R.I.P., Matt Murdock, Netflix stuff. This is the first time that I've had all my movie legends, I think, are here. Before, I used to have like stuff like traded out with imports. Like the, I have the Mafex Iron Man like b here before, but now like I have a Mafex display, so now I can put the Legends one back. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, guys. I keep changing it up. I turned the light off because I don't know if it's messing with the focus or not. But Age of Ultron section here. This is how it goes. It's fine. Quicksilver. I'd love to get some more. I'd love to get an updated Ultron. I need Ultron, not Prime. Whatever Ultron from the end of the movie, Final Battle, whatever. And then here we have like an Infinity War section with Infinity War-esque characters. Of course, going up and down to the Children of Thanos. Transitioning, of course, into Endgame with Stan the Man. Up there at the top, as always. Please focus, man. Ah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, Iron Man here look at that thumbnail 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 maybe i don't know <laughs> right here we'll see 
So that makes good. And then I have a Civil War section right here. Civil War is my favorite movie of all time. My favorite Marvel movie. My favorite MCU movie. My favorite. My favorite. I'd love to get updated Civil War figures. Um, especially Black Widow. But here, there's Falcon up there. And you're just kind of here. Again, like, not a lot of... The overall aesthetic of this shelf, my shelves in general, has not changed from last year. If you recall those videos, it's just new characters added onto here. We're speaking of new. We have the Homecoming 2-pack here, and we, of course, we have the No Way Home Trio. Look at those guys. I love this 3-pack. Sorry if you hate it. I don't. I love it. I love this Toby. I love this Andrew. Tom's okay. Uh, and here's my kind of Sony stuff. Focus, please, man. I need autofocus, man. This is, of course, a deluxe, oh, deluxe, a custom carnage I made for the shelf, obviously. Hopefully, Hasbro gives us a new one or an official one one day. That would be really great. But also have a custom riot right there. And then, of course, Venom. And then Vulture back there. Molten Man. I still need this arm to complete that bath. I'll get it one day. And then coming down, Conchu build a figure, Disney Plus Phase Four and Five stuff right here, Shang Chi, Wenwu, Guardians Three Rocket. I still need to complete this wave. This is the only one of the wave that I have, so I'll get on those figures one day when they're on clearance. Maybe if I'm lucky. I never find stuff on clearance, but more Disney Plus Phase Four stuff. Classic Loki, Thor, Love and Thunder, Eternals back there. What if? Love this Ultron build a figure. That's awesome. Coming down here, Hawkeye, you know, this is just it, Scarlet Witch right there. You know, th this is it, this is it. I am wish I had better commentary, guys. I'm just really just here showing y'all everything. My favorite part is like this right here, like seeing the Venom stuff and, of course, the three Spider-Man. Like, who doesn't love seeing that? So that's great. Love, 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 love my MCU show. And for the most part... I'm pretty sure these are all Marvel Legends. Again, that's a first for me because normally I have Marvel Select, SHF, Mafex mixed in. But nope, I have separate displays for my imports now. So I'm super happy to have that. Which, speaking of imports and displays and the new new, of course, I have DTOFs now. Got these back in May. Threw all the imports in here. Obviously got some non-imports. Oh, so, so excited. So cool. Um, but if you just wanted to take a grand look at these, I'm going to get my ring lights up because I don't have any LEDs in here. I didn't feel, I'm moving back to college, uh, this weekend. Today is what, Wednesday, Saturday, moving back. So I don't feel the need to spend $90 on lights, $30 a strip just to leave. So I'll do that whenever and I can in the future, but I will get these ring lights set up right now so we can take a look at everything. I don't know if anyone wants to see my Spider-Verse poster right here. I got it at the movie theater. Great movie. Same with Transformers, awesome movie. Uh, I don't know if you want to see this POV too of the Haslabs. I do trust that the wall, they'll, they'll stand here, they won't fall. I have Galactus legs out. He's also leaning on the back a little. Sentinel has never fallen, I mean, knock on wood, ever since I've had it in the two years it's been out. So great for that. And then of course, like I said, right here, just Sentinel-esque related stuff. So yeah, okay, let me get the light set up. Show you all the detoffs in detail. Super hype, super excited. A, a lot of skill, I think. Making detoff displays is harder than doing something like this, in my opinion. But, yep. Okay, well, that piece of shit ring light just broke on me, so we'll just have to use one. First detoff here is my movie Spider Man. It's also my favorite. I'm super happy with this one. So we'll just take a look. Up there, custom Symbio SHF Toby, Venom, custom SHF stuff. I'm just, I don't really want to talk. I just want to like put music at this. But, you know, SHF Carnage was my number one most anticipated figure of the year. Did not disappoint and besides the face paint. I'll repaint it one day. But this is my favorite. This is not supposed to be that way. Let me see if I can do this live. Uh, okay, there, turn, centered. Oh, it's not. Dang it, come on. Come on. Come on. Is that there? That's better. That's fine. Right here, Mafex stuff. Can't wait to get a new Green Goblin from somebody, please. This Toy Biz one is great, but not the best ever. PW Toys, right? Right? Doc Ock. 
can't wait to get the new Marvel Legends one. It'll go obviously right over here in that section. But I mean, just SHF Trio. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I I, I don't know really much like to do other than talk. Like I don't know what to say. Some of the stuff is hot because the light. But again, this is just movie Spider-Man stuff. SHF Venom does repaint. Love that. Is the light too harsh? Can I bring this down a little bit? Is it not too bad? Not too bad? I don't know. But love this Detoff. It's my favorite. Can't wait to get some updates with some stuff. But awesome. So I guess coming down here, we have my into and across the spider let me let me get this light all right into and across the spider verse shelf sentinel miles sitting up here in the middle sentinel speed er spider bot marvel legends are in here as well just to get that character representation like with the spot shf gwen doing the pose when she took out ben riley and destroyed his watch i love that and so i tried to replicate it here yeah, I got some tech right there, but it's okay. It's been staying same well with this spider ham. He won't stand by himself. So Mayfix Peter B, one of the best, if not definitely top three, in my opinion, of my favorite Mayfix figures of all time. Sentinel Gwen and this vanilla pose just to have this look right here. Mayfix Miles right there from the first one. And then getting over here back to the corner. SHF across the Spider-Verse Miles getting slammed by Marvel Legends 2099, which I did. It says a custom, sculpted some new stuff, repainted a lot on here like four times. Anyways, that is on my TikTok if you care to see that. May fix Peter B, because if you gotta have if it's so nice, buy it twice. I don't I don't know. I needed two of them. Uh, obviously Sentinel no. Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Noir. Can't wait for the Sentinel one. That'll replace this one. This one will go, obviously, up there. Sorry about that. Have people talking in the background in the hallway, but I guess we'll just... So, there you go. Into and across the Spider-Verse. So, now coming down here is my DC display, movie and comics. I don't have a lot of DC figures sold. Most of my McFarlane figures because they're trash, and I don't have a lot of the imports yet, but I have some on pre-order. But there's a McFarlane Killer Croc that I repainted last... August, amazing. The figure before looked like crap. Mayfix Nightwing, awesome. Hush Superman, kind of overrated. Not overrated, in my opinion, is this red and blue Superman. McFarlane Darkseid, right here. Oh, I'm going to try to sit down on the floor while I talk. Here is Mayfix, um, what is this? Flash, in a kind of wonky pose. I thought that was even. I guess not. But that's there. And then, of course, McFarlane Darkseid against... This Superman, I love that head sculpt. Look at that. Fiddle focus. That's awesome. That's amazing. And then this right here is the uh, Patriot Studio, I think. Um, the Clown, one of the two. There, I know they have three Patriot Studio Joker figures, but this is the one with the suit. That looks like that. Comes the chair from Murray. And yeah, this is very minuscule. Probably my least favorite detoff is this one right here um just because there's not a lot going on i don't really like it at all but uh one i do like is coming down here these are the NECA tmnt first turtle movie figures these were grail figures for a while so i'm super hyped to have these and again this is just basic stuff casey casey april april raf in disguise and NECA turtles there's not much to talk about and show here but backing all up that's the first detail right here so turtles dc spider-verse and movie spider-verse well live action spider-verse stuff so that's it for this one so we can go ahead and just close this up and we'll get to the second one so right here we have the two hot toys that i own the first one that i got was integrated suit for my birthday back in april bought this for myself and then i treated myself to hot toys carnage i love carnage as a spider-man villain i didn't love let there be carnage but i love carnage let there be carnage and the moment this figure was announced i knew i was gonna have it in my collection i didn't care about the price expensive figure but freaking worth it in every regard look at 
that, dude. That is beautiful. That is great. And then, I mean, if you if you haven't watched a review on this figure, even if you don't collect hot toys, go watch a review on this figure. <laughs> it's amazing. Not much to tell here. Like I said, just integrated suit, carnage. That's it. I did have to buy the little anchor thingies to adjust because obviously the detoffs are fixed right there. So I had to buy these. And I have this cloth right here so that way the glass doesn't get scratched or anything by the metal right there. So I had to adjust all the ones right here in order to compensate for Carnage because it's freaking like 17 inches tall, I think. Not including the tentacles, tendrils. So love this figure. It's the centerpiece, I think, of my Detoff displays. Sorry, back again. I just, my phone got a phone call. So anyways, Carnage here looks great. I can't wait. I'm getting all the No Way Home Hot Toy figures. So the one that's out right now is Andrew. Andrew just hit, so I gotta get him soon. Still wanna get Venom for Carnage as well. Skipping through that, okay, Hot Toys right there. Looks amazing, but now we're gonna get to my comic Spider-Verse shelf. And I thought I had a lot more figures for this display, and I don't. So these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine figures that I got. So up here we have Rebel Tech Iron Spider. Love this figure, looks great. Can't wait to see if Mayfix ever gets to one though. Um, I hope they do. And this is just recently released, Mayfix Scarlet Spider. That looks great. Love that color on the hood. And then they fix Venom. Generic, but cool. 75 reissue, love that Peter Parker portrait. That's amazing. And then obviously Mayfix Carnage here. Due for a reissue, people need to get reissued. I want a reissue. This one has a lot of loose joints, so I'd love to get a new one. And then Symbiote Spider-Man that came out in October of last year, so that's great. Uh, Mayfake, this is 185, the classic blue and red, like that. And then, of course, right here, I have original 75 fighting Ben Riley. So, yeah, um, that's here. And again, not much, not much to tell. Not much, kind of vanilla, kind of basic, but I hate doing Spider Man displays because I always have this trouble on making sure that I don't do the same pose multiple times for Spider Man because that'd be like so easy to do. So it's always a struggle creative wise to do a Spider-Man display and I did this last night and I went for simplicity over complex, super dynamic stuff. I think these two are the most dynamic things I have in here. But moving down here, we have my miscellaneous shelf in the Detoff and there's a lot going on in here. So let's just go ahead and start up here. We have Mafex Homelander and Black Noir. Haven't reviewed Black Noir. I didn't review any of these, but I don't know if I ever will. This is a refurbished uh, KO of this SHF, Civil War Black Panther. Found it for 40 bucks at a store. Thought, why the hell not? The one and only Mezco figure that I own right here, Mezco Vapor, giving you the bird right there. Fun figure, super fun factor. Um, this is the Yellow Park Optimus Primal and Optimus Model Kit. Shout out to Yellow Park. Thank you for sending me that. Love these figures. I got some quick reviews on my TikTok if you want to go check those out. Um, Bumblebee, SHF Buzz, right here, right in the middle, next to the PW Toys, the mask figure. Love that. It's a dream to have. This is another Grell figure just to have a Jim Carrey, the mask figure in my collection. And right here we have the NECA Ghostface stabbing SHF Deadpool. It's just funny. Shout out to Uni Sherman, please, for giving me that idea. And then we have G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. I still have my classified figures. They're just not on display. Um, I've been in a battle trying to debate whether I sell them or keep them. Because they're not on display, so I should sell them. But I like those figures a lot, so I should keep them. I don't know. Model Kit one will be Big Magenji, Rebel Tech Carnage. I was going to put Carnage up in here. But I, I like this aesthetic of 3, 2, 3. I could have put Carnage in the middle, but I didn't want to have two Carnage. You know, you just... Aesthetic reasons didn't work out. So he came down on the miscellaneous. And then I have the Playmate. Is it Playmates? I think it's Playmates. Uh, Turtle Tots from the new Team and Team Mutant Mayhem movie. These guys are just so dorky looking and they're funny. And I watched the movie a couple days ago. I love the movie. Um, and these just look stupid. So I had to put them in the detail. But this is just, again, miscellaneous right here. So just some random stuff that I wanted to put in the detail and not anywhere else. But... Oh, if I can get up off the floor, that's it for the second one. Now I move on to the third, and that'll be the conclusion for the Detoff displays.
And now for the third one, starting off the third one, this is my import Mafex SHF, uh, just MCU display. I don't have a lot of Infinity War figures, so when I buy more Infinity War figures, Mafex or SHF, these will eventually spread out. I'll have an Endgame Detoff section and uh, Infinity War Detoff section. So, I mean, I got one more spot right there so I can play puzzles around and get there. But of course, okay, so up here, SHF, Endgame, Black Widow, and Thanos. Look in there, final battle. Came back, people were talking again in the hallway. Um, I don't know where I was at. Anyways, Mafex, Infinity War, Strange, Captain Marvel, Iron Spider. I mean, I you know all these figures, hopefully, if you're watching this. If not, well, Google's free. I don't want to commentate on everything I have, but I have this stuff in here. Uh, Mafex Black Panther is down right there. Can't wait for more MCU import figure arts or Mafex figures coming out. I know there was a lot revealed during San Diego Comic Con for the Medicom exhibit. But this is it. I mean, not my favorite. It looks great, but I'm I'm content with all with all of this. So uh moving on to the second one. Here we have my anime detoff, and this is my favorite section on this wall of detoffs. So up here we have my Figma Attack on Titan figures and a model kit Aaron. Again, the best anime of all time. I don't care what anyone says. Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, whatever. Attack on Titan's on top. But we have the Figma Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen is amazing. And I want more Jujutsu Kaisen figures. I just haven't been able to pinpoint on buying those. Um, SHF Naruto uh, 2.0, Naruto and Kakashi love these figures i can't wait again jujitsu kaisen the rebel tech figures naruto i want to expand more and get the rest of those figures but this is a lot of money you know gotta prioritize which yes here is my rebel tech my hero figures you got all might and then deku and then bakugo so i still of course need todoroki hawks endeavor kirishima's coming out aizawa was just shown off as well so there's so much more to come for this line and this is just the anime section. I love that. But now getting down here to the third one is this is my oh no 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 don't fall don't fall. This is my oh this light is just coming down. Will it just where will it stop? Okay. All right. Now that that so these are third party transformers. This is the company Unique Toys. So it is Unique Toys Dragoon, aka the Last Night Megatron. Uh, Unique Toys Challenger, aka the Last Night Optimus Prime. Unique Toys Nero, which is Age of Extinction. Uh, wait, that's Galvatron. That's Megatron. And this is you. This is a KO of the Unique Toys Nero, which is Lockdown from Age of Extinction. And I like these Transformers. I like the Bayverse films a lot. And I'm happy to have some premium looking figures uh, for these characters on my shelf. I don't collect Studio Series or anything else really, even though I have some. But I don't click those anymore, and I, I like having these. I'm missing some. I'm missing a Dark of the Moon Megatron from this line and a Hot Rod from Age of uh, the Last Night. So I'm missing those two figures to complete this line. But they're expensive, and I'll get them eventually. But the last but not least for the detail section, this is my NECA TMNT Secret of the Ooze display. Toka. Toka. And Razar. <laughs> really are probably the biggest some of the biggest grails in this whole section because ever since i was little and i watched secret of the Ooze, i always wanted to have figures of toka and razar so i'm super happy to have gotten this neca set last year was it last year i think it was last year so i love that and yeah we just got turtles we got shredder i'm still missing a few i need super shredder and is that it oh kino is coming out i need kino but this is the display, the NECA's Team and T. I do want to get the figures for the third movie. I'll get them whenever NECA releases them eventually. I know that they came out in a SEC exclusive box set, right? Yeah, this summer, yes. So, but I don't want to pay the price for that. So, anyways, that 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 that's that's it for this third detox. And that's it for the detox stuff. I mean, let me come out here then just show y'all um the first detox sets I ever bought first displays I ever had i'm sure they will change and grow and be swapped out sorry if i repeated myself a lot during that whole 
section. Sorry, I had a burp. But moving on from the detox, movie poster, movie poster, movie poster, movie, bed, broken light. Uh, you can come over here to this shelf here, remember? This is just random stuff. I mean, props, memorabilia, Leos. Uh, nothing too special up there. Stanley, Finney Gauntlets, whatever. Best anime of all time. Again, Attack on Titan, Funko Pops, Blu-rays, manga. Still need to buy the rest of the manga, even though I've read everything. I know how it ends. Can't wait for the last episode to air, hopefully soon. But you get down here, and this is where some of the cuts came from when I was selling stuff. I used to have a lot of Black Series. Now this is all I have right here. These figures. Um, I've pre-ordered some import Star Wars figures and I just don't really feel the need to buy Black Series anymore. So I sold the ones I didn't want. Decided to keep these. I'm sure eventually I'll get to a point where I sell all these and I'll just probably keep the Clone Wars. Clone Wars is my favorite era of Star Wars. So like these three, like this section right here just does it for me. Uh, and then here, this is like Miscellaneous Part 2. Again, a few of the remaining McFarlane figures I have left. And then Pennywise, NECA, Indiana Jones, Hasbro stuff, Chucky. Shaman Predator, great figure if you don't have it. But again, just random. It's just random. And then that's nothing. And these, again, are the remaining Studio Series and old Hasbro Transformers figures that I have. The most recent one that I bought was The Fallen back in December right when that came out but customizing stuff paintings me fan because it's hot oh here's this is cool this is a, an accessory to hot toys carnage that i just haven't put up but here is my signed uh baby yoda funko pop from john carlo esposito uh he came to my university new mexico state university um uh, a few months ago to talk and I got him to sign this Funko Pop. So that's awesome. So of course I had the Black Series Moff Gideon right there. But that is it, everybody. Taking a big look back at everything. Main display here. I won't be surprised if I eventually sell. <laughs> I'll never sell my Marvel Legends. I'll never sell my MCU Marvel Legends. I'll never sell my Spider-Verse Marvel Legends. I don't know. Like... I was going to say I won't be surprised if my collection just reduces down to the Detoffs in the future and I sell the rest of that. I don't think I ever will, but i um, sorry if y'all can hear people talking. We have construction stuff going on at our house at the moment, but this is the Boondocks 01 2023 room slash full collection tour. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm going back to my last semester of college. I graduate college in December. So last move, beyond that, I don't know what the heck is going to happen with my life in posting. It's scary. It's, 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 it's really, I hope I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking at that. I don't know. Anyways, if you like it, follow, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what was your favorite part of my collection, my, your favorite section of my display. Um, yeah. Happy end of summer. Uh, we're almost to the end of the year. Top 10 videos, stuff, more reviews coming, hopefully. I don't know. I don't want to make promises. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and, of course, TikTok. And I will catch y'all later. I will have more, like, individual review, not reviews, looks of the, all the displays if you this wasn't enough for you on TikTok. Anyways, outro, yada, yada. Gotta go. Peace? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching.